everyone, so I'm back with a daytime makeup look for glasses and you can obviously wear this if you don't wear glasses or if you wear contacts but this makeup tutorial has tips that are specifically for people who wear glasses just because I think it's a little bit harder to figure out which makeup looks work and don't work for people who do wear glasses. I basically just kept the upper lid neutral because as you can see when I put my glasses on the frames kind of cover up my upper lid so you can't really see it anyways and then just for my lower lash line I applied a really bright and colorful eyeshadow and I chose a royal blue but as I explained in the tutorial you can choose any bright color that you want this just helps complement your eyes because the glasses do bring more attention to your eyes and I think kind of makes it look a little bit more playful so yeah I really hope you guys enjoy and I hope this tutorial helps you out and let's get started the first thing I'm going to do is fill in my brow so I'm taking my Maybelline Expert Wear Eyebrow Pencil and filling your brows is really important especially if you wear glasses because the frames draw more attention to your eyebrows so I'm going to use a heavier hand than normal and darken my brows a little bit more than I would usually do So next I'm going to apply a concealer that's a little bit lighter than my natural skin tone. So I'm taking my Revlon Photo Ready Concealer Stick and I am in number 2 light. And concealer is also really important because when you wear your glasses, the frames can cast shadows right on your under eye areas. So it can make your dark circles look even darker. That's why I'm taking one that's a little bit lighter than my skin tone and applying this on my under eye circles and a little bit right on my lid. Next, I'm taking my Urban Decay Primer Potion, and I'm applying this on my lid and on my lower lash line. For my lid, I'm going to keep it fairly natural looking, so I'm taking my Costa Sense 28 Neutral Palette. And this is what the inside looks like. I'm first grabbing a regular eyeshadow brush. I'm first going to pick up this light matte cream color, and I'm going to brush this on my brow bone as a highlight and drag it downwards towards my lid. And then going to the shade that's directly under that cream color, this is a kind of skin tone color with a little bit of shimmer in it. And so I'm just using the same brush and picking that up. You just wanna go for a shade that's close to your own skin tone. I'm going to pat this all over the lid. And then I'm also going to blend it upwards towards that brow highlight. And then I'm taking a small pencil brush and I'm picking up this matte brown color with a slight reddish undertone to it. And I'm going to apply this right into my crease area. And down towards the outer corner of my eye so it creates this kind of V shape right here. And then I'm taking a fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to use this and blend out the edges. Now I'm choosing a really small pointed brush and I'm going to dip that into a matte black shade and I'm using this to line my upper lash line. And then at the outer corner I'm just going to drag it outwards just a little bit. I'm not creating an actual wing but I'm just tapering the end out. And then on top of that black eyeshadow, I'm going to be applying a black liquid liner and this one is Perversion from Urban Decay and I'm just going to apply a really thin line basically right on my lash line and this is just going to help define your upper lash line a little bit better. And I'm just going to use a hand and kind of fan it out and let it dry a little bit because with the kind of crease that I have, if I don't let it dry, it can get all over my lid. So if you have a crease that's like mine, you'll want to wait for this to dry. Okay, so the liquid liner is almost completely dry. I'm just going to move on to my lower lash line. So basically you want to take any bright color that you have and you can use your favorite color if you want to. I'm going into my Coastal Sense Creative Me Number no. 1 palette and I really love this palette. This is what the inside looks like. It's just got tons of bright colors in it. And I'm going to be choosing this royal blue color. And if you have this palette, you can really choose any color that you want. I would avoid the red color because red can kind of make your eyes look a little bit irritated, but uh, this orchid color is gorgeous. And even these green colors, they would look really great too. So I'm just taking a small angled brush. I'm just gonna dip it into this royal blue color and line my lower lash line. You wanna make the outer half a little bit thicker and then make it really thin when you get to the inner half. And 
And then I'm also going to tap a little bit of that blue eyeshadow right onto my waterline. And finally, I'm taking that small pointed brush and going back into that matte black shadow. And once the liquid liner has dried, I'm going to smudge this right on the very edge of it just to make it more smoky looking. And then I'm taking a small sponge tip applicator brush, going into this really pretty pearlescent white color, and I'm applying this right on the inner corner of my eye, blending it with the blue on my lower lash line. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. And that is pretty much it for the eyes. Moving into the rest of the face, you can go ahead and apply your foundation. I'm going to skip to concealer, and I'm just going to use a different concealer. This one is my Amazing Cosmetics Concealer in Medium Golden. And this one is the same color as my skin tone, whereas the first one that we used was a shade lighter. And I'm using another concealer just for double duty coverage. Because like I said, frames can really emphasize your under eye circles, which is not what you want. So I'm just going to dot a little bit on and use my finger and blend it out. I'm also just going to dot some around any redness or blemishes that I have. Now you're just going to want to powder your face just to set the makeup. And now for my cheeks, I'm going into my 10 blush palette from Coastal Scents. And I'm going to apply this really nice peachy coral color just with a regular blush brush. Finally for the lips, I'm going to apply this really nice natural pinky color and this one is from MAC and it's called Cream Cup. And that's basically it for the daytime makeup look for glasses and I really hope this helped you out. If you have any questions just message me and I'll get back to you on that. And stay tuned for the nighttime makeup look for glasses and also the New Year's Eve look that I'm planning on doing. When that's all done and uploaded I'll be sure to just put a link somewhere up here so you guys can click on that so make sure you check back and yeah I'll see you all then. Bye!